I'm Danny Gasparini and welcome to this segment of Penn Voice. I am joined today by Robert Schaffner, who is the director of the San Mateo County Small Business Development Center. Robert, welcome. Thank you for having me. Well, or I should say welcome back. Um, yes. It was about a year ago that you came on and told our community about what you do at the Small Business Development Center, all of your programs. There's some things new um, and some things that you want to report that you're continuing to do. So for those few viewers that didn't see you last year, will you tell us a little bit about what the Small Business Development Center does? I surely will. Small Business Development Centers are part of a network across the country. We have uh, several of them in Northern California, 12 of them, and we work to help small businesses uh, in their development, uh, in their growth, in their maturation. Uh, we do that primarily in two ways. One is through one-on-one -on -one counseling, mm -hmm. um, and our counseling is designed to create economic impact, either that we're going to provide access to capital, we're going to help that business increase their sales, or we're going to help create or retain jobs, uh, primarily here in San Mateo County. So we do that uh, in that way, and then we also do that through offering workshops and uh, seminars on various business topics that I'll talk about a little bit. Okay. Um, and, and so if I'm, I'm someone who has a wild idea and I think I should want to start a business, I can come with you, to you, Small Business Development Center, as someone that has a concept from a business, as well as if I'm already an established small business and I want to grow it. You are correct. So we work with both types of businesses, that beginning entrepreneur as well as that established business. Okay. Uh, we're going to help the beginning entrepreneur flesh out their business plan, uh, their business concept, so that they can start to take that to really putting in the building blocks of what it takes to run and operate that business. Mm -hmm. For the experienced business, we're going to work with them on what they need. Maybe it's that they need some help on uh, commercialization of their uh, technology. Uh, how do I work with the government on procurement, marketing, could be sales, could be import, export. So we try to meet that business with what they need rather than to dictate to them, here's what we think Yeah, you here's need. a small business development in a box. Right. Right. So how are you funded? We are funded primarily in two ways. One is through the SBA. Uh -huh. So it's putting your tax dollars to work. Great. So that's how we offer the service for free. So we free. should all take advantage of it. So you should take <laughs> advantage of it. Uh, and the second way is we're very fortunate to have uh, a host, which is the San Mateo Community College District. Okay. My office is housed at uh, the College of San Mateo, but uh, we couldn't ask for a better partner. They do a great job in so supporting us. So can people us. take courses and get um, community college credits um, through this, or is it just you're just housed there and they're hosting you and people come and go as they need to? We're housed there and we offer a number of courses, not necessarily for credit, okay. but we certainly can hook them up with the various courses that are available for entrepreneurs and small business people that to are offered by any credit. one of those three colleges throughout right. our county. Okay. So, and then do people pay for this service? They do not pay anything for our service. And if you went on the outside and got this on a private basis, right. we do an initial eight hours of counseling, that would probably cost you about $2,500. Right. So great, great advantage yeah. for um, having SBA fund it and have it available in our community. Yeah. So tell us some of the fun outcomes. What's your favorite story that came out of concept to now is a business? You know, um, a few things. We just helped a business this year that opened up a wine school in South San Francisco. Oh, they uh, had identified a location. They needed a little bit of financial assistance to uh, make that a viable outcome and we were able to identify some capital for them to get their business started at that location. Had another business, uh, the, the business owner had a concept about a yoga studio um, that for flight attendants as they got off of flights and they were a little bit stressed out. Uh, we helped that business get started, grew to an over a year to about 19 part-time employees uh, making an impact on their community. So it's things like that that we do uh, with many different businesses that help them grow and prosper and uh, realize their dreams and right. hopes and dreams. Now, how do you, how do you then procure the um, coaches and trainers and teachers of your program? I do it in two ways. One, sometimes people approach me. They're interested in giving back to their communities mm -hmm. and they want to do it in that manner. And also I go out and, and look around for who's presenting seminars, uh, who may have an expertise that I really mm -hmm. need. So um, I look for someone that could give not uh, legal advice, but legal education, uh, an experienced lawyer, or I got someone that's an expert in government procurement. Right. Um, so I look for those type of individuals that can fill a need within our center 
for counseling. Do you uh, have folks that so. volunteer to be these trainers and coaches and um, educators? Uh, I certainly do. When we have an advisor, though, we do pay those advisors. Okay. So it's uh, so that's it's another a, thing yeah. that our viewers might want to know if they're in their retired years or they're looking for a second career and they want to take a um, a different turn and, and mm -hmm. do some coaching of, of some great skill that they learned as growing a business. It'd exactly. be a great opportunity for them. It certainly would be. And they can do that through contacting me. Yeah. And then so how does someone get involved? Do they just go to your website and they can sign up for what courses are there? How do they get that one-on-one -on -one counseling? So they go to our website and they'll see a link right there on our home page that says request for counseling. Mm -hmm. They click that. They fill out information. Uh, about themselves. Within 24 to 48 hours, someone from the center will contact them to do an intake interview. From there, we matched him up with a counselor for a one-on-one -on -one session. Okay. And we go to them. So they don't have to come up to the school okay. for that counseling. We'll meet them in their own community um, to assist them with what they need. So tell us what's happening from a program standpoint. You've got some uh, exciting uh, workshops coming up. We have been busy this year, so we've done a lot of things. We did a five-part series earlier this year on transforming your life through entrepreneurship, which is for the beginning entrepreneur to, to learn what does it take to start a business. Uh, we're getting ready to do a three-part uh, series on procurement uh, and certification, government certification. We're going to do another three-part series at the Bay Area Entrepreneur Center in San Bruno, which is a partner of ours. Mm -hmm. That's going to be on answering legal questions, what do you need to know as you start your business, how do you protect your intellectual property, topics like that. Um, we're going to do in April, we're going to do a Pitch Your Wow event, which we do about twice a year, but that's going to be an opportunity, sort of like a little bit of a mini Shark Tank. Right, we where talked individuals about this can, last time. Yeah. yeah, they can come in and pitch their business to Bill Reichardt who is an experienced venture capitalist, mm -hmm. works with Guy Kawasaki at Garage Ventures. So they're going to get some really expert feedback about their business concept. Um, in June, we're going to do a really big event, which is our Access to Capital, the second lender's fair we're going to do. Last year, we attracted 160 people. This year, I'm really happy to say we have a partnership with every single Chamber of Commerce in the county. Great. They're helping sponsor this. So we expect to get over 300 people for a full day uh, and what will those fair. attendees do? They'll be presenting and pitching their ideas to a group of venture capitalists? No, for that fair, it's going to be an information fair. Okay. So we'll have about 15 lenders there. We'll okay. have venture capitalists there. We'll have angel investors there, crowd funders. How do you get the capital you need for your business? Okay. So that's what that's so primary the participants, concept. So if I'm a person who wants to start a new business, I would go to basically these different booths and these different stations and learn from these folks. Exactly. Okay. And we'll have some presentations and some panel discussions to provide information. And we'll make sure that we put all of those dates that you'd mentioned in the last few minutes up on our screen so that at the end of this segment, all of our viewers can see all of the dates and then, of course, the link to your website right. so they can go on there. And, and when they link to our to website, they'll see the event and they can register. Register right, right there. Right, right, right. So we've just got a couple minutes left. What are the things that you want to make sure that our viewers know about the Small Business Development Center? I, what I would say is, is that we're open for business. We're available for you to take advantage of a free service. Mm -hmm. Just because it's free doesn't mean it's not valuable. Well, that's that's a good point to make. And it really is putting your taxpayer dollars to work. Right. So you have nothing to lose, and you have a great deal to gain. Right. Uh, by taking advantage of our service. So one, I always want to make sure you, you take advantage of that. And two, just know that you have, through us, you have available resources. We work with Nova. We work with Sam Cita. We work with Chambers of Commerce. We work with a lot of different organizations. So if we don't have the exact expertise, we'll find someone that can provide the needed resources to help your business grow and prosper. Well, Robert, thank you so much for telling us more about the Small Business Development Center. I threatened last time that I was going to come up to you and visit <laughs> you and tell you about my wild idea, mm -hmm. and I'm still going to do that. Um, and then maybe we'll have a whole show on that. All right. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, thank you so much for joining us. We're real, really excited about the Small Business Development Center. Thank you. And thanks to all of you for joining us on Penn Voice. I hope I see you at the Small Business Development Center sometime. Take care.